Okay, let's now continue with the details. So what we need to do is we need to now focus on this area right here. And what we need to do next is just add a couple of cuts here so that we can push the points and adjust them to the curve. So I'm going to use M for multi-cut and add one loop here and then add one loop here. All right. So now that we have that set up, let's zoom in here as well. And let's go to vertex mode and let's click on one point. And if we click on the point, we will see where it is. And if we click on it, we will also will not click on the back, especially if we have our camera base selection turned on. If we by any chance marquee select, even though with the camera base selection on, it will still select on the back. So just make sure that we click on the point and then let's use slide to slide it on top. And I'm gonna hit one just to exit from my smooth preview. And it's also a good time to introduce symmetry here. So we align on X axis so we can go to world X. We can also go to shift control, right click and then symmetry right here. So um, I wanted symmetry on X axis. All right, so let's now slide this. So shift control and while in move mode, we can slide and slide this point as well. This will do, let's go to the bottom. Again, shift control. All right, now we can see how this looks and I think this is just fine. So we can check it like that and I think it looks fine. All right, so one thing here I would like to mention, I would like to remove these two edges. And the reason is if we now decide to extrude this inside, so basically let's extrude this, you will see that these edges, how they will behave. So basically this edge is no longer as straight as it was. So just to avoid, let's say situations like that, I like to remove everything here in the middle. It's gonna be much cleaner workflow. So let's just control and delete that. So we have clean area like this. Also, one thing here I notice is that actually once we extrude inside, so control E to extrude, we're creating more space. But here I believe that the space is different. So I think what we can do is we can actually bevel this. So let's select all these parts. So like so. And again, just shift click one and then shift double click the other. Control B to bevel. And let's see here. So let's go to uniform and let's go to center. Actually, let's leave it to auto and let's push it back like so. I think that will do. All right, and let's hit Q to confirm. And now what we can do is shift to one, uh, click on one polygon and then double click shift on the others that will create a loop. And then what we can do is do a small extrude inner. So with an offset and but one thing I would like to mention is that notice how polygons behave here that they will start to deform. So the way around it could be that we add one cut in the middle. So let's use multi cut, I will hold control for the loop and then middle mouse click to create loop right in the middle, then I'm going to select the loop and do control B for bevel. And the bevel will give us a much natural loop. And we can also go to metering uniform and metering along center. And this will give us maybe more even out spread. And now we can go control E and add a bit thickness with the extrude. All right, so now we have this as a result. So basically now we'll notice a lot of stretching is happening. And the reason for that is because these edges on top, so all of these edges are trying to even themselves out with all the edges at the bottom. There's nothing in between holding them to make them a bit more tighter. So what we need to do is just add these edges in the middle. So what I'm just doing again, just right uh, control, middle mouse click and adding 
these loops right in the middle. And when we now preview, all right, I think this looks fine for now. And let's do one more thing. And that would be this little area. So this is very, very narrow. So we need very small extrusion here. So something like this maybe. And let's select this, go to control E for extrusion. And then let's add this thickness inside. And again, what we need here are support of edges. So I'm gonna just double click on this, control B and add these supports. And I think that this will, this will do. All right, so let's see what else maybe we can add. And there's one more here at this area. So we can reuse this edge. So let's again use control B for bevel. And let's select this, offset it, add small thickness, and add support images. All right, so the one final thing that it's left is the detail right here, and that is what we're gonna do in the next video.